Hey Internet, this is the Umbrella Disc Golf Basket. It is a working prototype, and by working, I mean when you throw a disc at it, it catches and holds the disc. This is a fairly an ex expensive one than what I was going for. This is the first prototype. I wanted to make a disc golf basket that was functional and that it can hold a disc and inexpensive. So this is one umbrella, a $5 umbrella at Walmart that is collapsible and it's turned upside down and I poked holes in it right here to put zip ties through and attach a $2 basketball net to. And then I have some painter's tape attached to the other basketball net, another $2 basketball net. So this is basically free. The zip ties are almost free and I painter taped it to the bottom of another $5 umbrella. So we've got 5, 10, 12, 14, 15-ish dollars if you get the twist ties, zip ties, and painter's tape to make it. You can attach the handle of one umbrella to a tree limb or something else up high and you have about 20.7 inches, which is the regulation distance between the top of the basket and the bottom of the basket. It's kind of like a marksman basket in that it's really thin, but if you hit that pole or the net, the beauty of the prototype is that since this pole is not connected to this pole, the pole itself is not taking the brunt of the force. So as you hit the net, it absorbs, it catches, and then it falls to the basket on a perfect hit. At my parents' house, we play with just trash bands, trash buckets, or five gallon buckets, or 10 gallon buckets. And it stinks that it's great for when it goes in, but there's no attack from height. So now with this, you can hang it in a tree, and for $15, you can have your own basket. I wanted to upgrade it a little bit, so I got a domed umbrella. These I found on Amazon for uh, 60 bucks for 10 of them. So that's a $6 domed umbrella. And this works great because it's a little bit deeper. It's not as shallow as this one. So what often happens is you'll throw the disc and it'll bounce off the side and go out. But if you hit this one, it does a little bit better job. That's a bubble umbrella of catching the disc. Uh, so for these guys, I upgraded and got a strap and put it into the top of the umbrella. Uh, so I didn't ruin the umbrella like I did the prototype. This is still a functional umbrella. There's no holes in the canopy. So it will deflect the rain and the rain will collect here if you leave it out for a long time. But the idea is if you want to play around a disc golf, you have a hundred bucks, you can make four or five baskets if you spend $20. And so this strap, there's a, you can get them on Amazon. I'll try to put links in the description. This strap is like $2, so you have the $5 umbrella, so you increased it to $17 with the strap, and now that worked pretty well, but what happens in the wind is this will blow, and so it's kind of frustrating when you're trying to hit the movable target, which could be a interesting uh, challenge for professional disc golfers to hit the moving target. And so to solve that problem, what I did is I drilled a tiny little hole and the top of the dome umbrella and put a shower curtain, really cheap, almost free curtain in there. And then a twist zip tie to a four pound or two pound weight. So uh, weights are about a dollar a pound used. So you can get, this is a $5 weight, that's $5, almost free. So you get five. 10, 15, 17, and then the baskets, the nets are $2 again if you can find them. This is a more expensive net, it's a chain for 
basketball chains, basketball net. So if you get the chains, so you still get that, the sound of the chains, you put two of those on there, it's gonna be like $25. So you're gonna have a $25 basket or a $15 basket. If someone can find out how to manufacture the umbrellas and everything included, I'm sure we can get that price down considerably, but you've got the basic dimensions of a disc golf basket. Still trying to find a way to expand the net so that it's a little bit wider. Haven't figured out a good way to do that yet, but maybe like lines going straight down instead. But hopefully this helps you guys uh, and ladies uh, make some disc golf targets so that you can play disc golf in your yard or at a park. Uh, what's great about the umbrella basket, what I hope to do is have a organization or company make quality uh, permanent umbrella baskets so that we can hang them from trees. And this way, if they're not touching the ground, then the grounds people can mow right under them and there's not the added cost of maintenance for them. And that would be really awesome for the sport. If someone could make a packaged umbrella basket system where you could get two of them, two baskets for like $40 with some discs that are quality baskets, not like these DIY versions, but actually manufacture them, then hopefully we could grow the sport a little bit better. It'd be a easier access point for people if they can spend $50 to get two baskets and the discs that they need to start playing. I know there are some baskets on line that are kind of like this, but they are still on the ground and their quality is not awesome. You can't attack it from a 360 degree angle, whereas these puppies, you can attack all the way around. Doesn't matter where you're at, there's the angle of attack is always open the strap you just tie up there uh, like this one but uh, this is something i've been working on for a while it's a passion of mine to make disc golf more accessible i like to carry around uh, some discs in my bag to give out to people with this that i don't want or aren't the best but are beginner friendly so at the park you see somebody Looking at you, you can go up and ask them, hey, have you played disc golf before? Uh, here's a disc, if you wanna try, it's pretty easy. Just throw it and try to make it in the basket with as little or as few throws as possible. And once they hit those chains, you know, like we've started with, that's history. There's just something about the rattling of the chains, make it in the basket, that's super addictive. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys can use this idea to make some baskets of your own and uh, get out and throw and help uh, the community grow by building these relationships with people with uh, maybe inexpensive or free tools for people to use to get involved and get active.